Welcome to another of my conquest guides. Today we'll go over the global feat Imperial Dominance which requires us to get 100 kills with Piet or Veers. Fortunately we have one node we can exploit for indefinite kills, the Sector 4 sub-boss node making this feat quite manageable. My strategy however is dependent on having the right data disks. From my testing there isn't much leeway for alternatives. With that in mind you'll need a Volatile Accelerator, 2 Amplify Agony, 2 Ruthless Swiftness and an Unstable Decelerator. The latter ensures you can stack Emperor's Trap without interruption, however it can be subbed for Protection Shield if the initial enemy counters are taking your allies out. The final spot can be filled with discs that recover health protection. I went with a protection recovery as this team is quite buff heavy. So the goal is to get to a point where you can generate enough turn meters so that your team is almost always sitting at 100%, allowing you to then hit auto basic. To achieve this, we need to follow a few steps. Firstly, Han will open up on Hondo, stunning him and provide a boost of bonus turn meter to your team. Gideon should then swarm attack Hondo, thus applying lots of dots. Now, you want to either hit Hondo or IG and try to maintain a 100% turn meter. On Piet's first turn, use inevitable failure on Veers. This will provide Veers additional opportunities to assist. Now, you should be taking out IG. Keep this up until Gideon can do another swarm attack and again, use it on Hondo. When Hondo takes his second turn, the dots should take him out. With him out of the way, you can go ahead and hit auto basic on IG. IG is preferred over its allies as its counters don't hit for near as much damage. I landed 3 stacks of armor shred on IG but it's probably not needed as you'll eventually be hitting it for hundreds of thousands of damage thanks to Emperor's Trap. A few notes, avoid AoEs as we don't want to hit Vandal being the source of the enemy revives. Han should get taken out quite early from IG's counters so shouldn't interfere with your Emperor's Trap once your turn meter train gets rolling. If he does, remove his mods to make him weaker to IG's counters. And finally, keep an eye on the enemy turn meter as it may slowly creep up. For the most part, I didn't have this issue, but if you do, pull it back with Gideon's second special control the situation. If you found an alternative data disk loadout that worked just as well or better than what I'm showing, feel free to share below. I think that should be everything. As always, if you have any questions or suggestions, let me know below or find me on Discord. Till the next video.